It is after 4 a.m. It's been a long day and I am tired and I need some rest before day two of Bilderberg. The sun is shining on day two of Bilderberg. This is a day when there's probably a lot going on on the inside, but it's a light day for us reporters on the outside. The weather is just so beautiful today. And of course, you've got this incredible setting that maybe even if it's a busy day two, some of the Bilderbergers might walk out of the hotel. Apparently, there is a Bilderberg lunch happening at what I think is the Petite Palais. We're behind the little palace across the street from the big palace. And word has it that the conference participants are crossing the street underground. They're going underground from the big palace to the small palace. Lunch is over and meetings are back in session, but apparently here at the exit on the back side of the hotel there are some members of the conference going out for walks about the e-government system in estonia it's working very well isn't it glenn of conspiracy cabbie has been camped out here with the camera all day outside the entrance and exit behind the hotel and glenn what did you see a little while ago? Bro? It was about an hour ago, to be fair, Josh. I seen about four or five cars with the police at the front of them and the police at the back of them. And they went in there very, very fast. And according to the guy I was standing with, he said they were the American embassy cars. So it's either Jared Kushner or Mike Pompeo. But I've got, I have got some footage. I'll, I'll need to check it later uh, of some guys getting out the cars down there. So we think it's Pompeo or Kushner. Our conversation got cut a little short yesterday. I'm not going to talk to um, Is there uh, any statement we can get on the silencing of the conservative voices, sir? Seems that it's Dennis Mr. Schmidt, what about the state of California? It's a beautiful state. Maybe we could have a little chat about that. It's interesting what happened to Alex Jones. He got memory hold from the internet. Is that something that uh, was discussed here, sir? What about the James Damore memo? Uh, the allegations that were brought up in the James Damore memo, any truth to them? None at all? Is there a bias, a political bias? Is there a political slant to Google? Uh, you're not, uh, you've left the company, so maybe you could discuss that now. And the, the case is settled, right? It's been settled in court. Any comment on the James Damore memo? Mr. Sch Schmidt, uh, the like James Damore memo, is there any truth to it? Is it total nonsense? Is there a political Thank you. bias at Google? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Surprise! <laughs> yes, this this is a change in in setting. Bilderberg 2019 is complete, and while there is so much going on on day two, day three, day four, I didn't really have time to wrap up the individual vlogs. So day two, day two is supposed to be the light day of Bilderberg. And it was, to some extent. Luke and I got started kind of late in the day. And there wasn't that much action. Not many people were venturing out of the hotel. No one was seeing much of anything until the evening when we bumped into 
Eric Schmidt, former boss of Google, and he didn't say so much, but he did curse at Luke as Luke was asking him some rather pointed questions, and that was pretty funny. That was a funny moment. Luke said, <laughs> you can't curse. This is The video is going to get demonetized on YouTube, and in Luke's video, he, he bleeped it out. But uh, with regard to myself and my own coverage, at that point, by the completion of day two, I wasn't feeling so fulfilled. I, I had basically made the decision that I was going to focus on video reports for this Bilderberg, but I hadn't gotten any really good confrontation or interview footage myself, given that Luke was doing most of the talking was Schmidt, secondarily was Dan. I got in a couple questions, but but just at the very end, and he didn't respond to them. So I wrapped up day two a little a little frustrated, wanting a lot more, but not sure if I was gonna get a lot more because at that point the participants were being so silent. In fact, we we all pretty much settled on the word mum to describe the participants. At this point, the participants were mum. So, I mean, I didn't give up hope, but I finished day two slightly frustrated. Before I call it a night, I would like to say that I'm very grateful for all the new people with whom I'm connecting and interacting, thanks to my Bilderberg coverage, and thanks in large part to Luke sharing it.